Echo and the Bunnyman, Lips Like Sugar. Okay, let me play through all the different sections. Uh, there's quite a few layered uh, lead lines going on here. Um, I'll hit all those. I'll hit the basic chord progression for you. Just jam right through that. Uh, before we jump into the song, please hit that subscription button. You'd be helping out the channel and be much appreciated. All right, let's do Lips Like Sugar by Echo and the Bunnyman. Okay, so let's start with these uh, lead lines that come in. Um, throughout the song, you know, there's multiple, sometimes two, even like three guitars just kind of layered over each other. Uh, so this is kind of like a really high voiced one that happens in the intro here. Um, so we'll start way up here at the 14 on the E. And you want kind of a clean tone, lots of reverb, a little bit of delay on there. Uh, get that cool kind of 80s uh, edge sound, I guess. Uh, but we'll be up here, we'll be at 14 of the E, just kind of hit that a moment, then we'll come higher to 17 E, then we do uh, B, 
we go 16, 17, 16. So something like. Right? And then we keep those 16s on the G, D, come back to the 16G, 16B. So just kind of like a little uh, down and up on that 16s. All right, and the next little little bit here, we'll do 17, 16B to 16G. Okay, from there we do 16, 14 on the G. All right, and then we do 16, 14G, 14D. All right, and then we just hit a 16D for a minute. Then we finish it by doing a kind of a scale up now. We do 16G, 16B, go to the E for the 14, 17, 19. All right, and that'll get us through our little intro section there for that first guitar. Okay, and as far as the uh, acoustic that's happening, um, the main progression for the intro here is pretty basic. Uh, you just kind of want to hit a few open E bass notes to kick it off. Okay, just a real quick three there. All right, and then we just do this bar chord uh, B chord here. And you just want to kind of do some like uh, eighth note strums on that, kind of building up. Okay, for a couple measures there and then just repeat it about four times. All right, and then the second part of the intro, I guess you call it, when uh, everybody comes in, you know, with the drums and the bass and all that, uh, there's kind of this main riff for uh, the the lead lines that are happening there. Um, and it's pretty basic here. We're just kind of hanging out in this one area. Uh, we'll be up here at seven on the A, and we're just gonna go between seven and six on the A a couple times, and then land on seven of the E. All right, and then we hit that nine on the uh, A. Hold that a moment. And then we'll go back and do the seven, six, seven, six A. 7E, but instead of going to the 9 on A, we just finish on an open E. Alright, and essentially you just re repeat that twice. And the chord progression that starts uh, once everybody comes in, this is pretty much good for this intro, the second intro part, uh, the verse, and the pre-chorus that happens. All right, And all it is is we're just uh, sticking with that B bar chord, and it's just kind of a loose shuffle strum all right, for about you know a measure and a half. So just like... Something like that, okay? You just keep a loose shuffle going there. And like I said, towards the end of that second measure, we just drop down to uh, a few E chords here. And you could do it this way where you're doing like open E bass line. And then 7A with the nines on the D, G, B there. And it's just a quick three strum. Okay. All right, and like I said, you just repeat those. Uh, two measures like that through the bulk of the song. Pretty much everything except for like the chorus and that, uh, you know, solo breaks uh, area. So pretty basic here. All right, now getting into more of these lead lines. Okay, so this is the second part of the intro uh, and this will be like the third guitar that's coming in on top of that 
you know, first lead and the acoustic going on. And it's just doing some little accent lead parts here, uh, higher. So a higher voiced section there. Um, kind of a continuation of uh, the intro lead sections there. Uh, so we'll be here at 16 on the D, G, and then a 14 on the E. Okay. From there you do 16s on the D, G, do a 17 B to 16 B. Okay. Next little bit, we do 16 D, G, and then come up and hit a 19 on the E. All right. From there, uh, kind of wrap it up with a 14 E, 16 E, 17 E. Right, and then just 17B, 16B. All right, so just a fun little, uh, almost improvisational little bits there in the, the high kind of B uh, voicing here, okay? And there's even another guitar that's just kind of chilling in the background here of that second part of the intro. And it's just doing these little uh, uh, nine on the A uh, notes here, um, F sharps. So it's just hitting like five quick uh, ninth frets on the A here, and then it'll rest a moment, and then do another five, rest a moment, do another five. It's kind of a funny little riff, uh, optional of course, but it, it always sounds cool if you get everything in there. So something like this here. All right, once the verse starts, uh, we switch to a new little uh, lead riff over the top of that uh, basic acoustic progression there. Um, we're gonna jump up here to nine on the D and uh, we're just bouncing around more or less between a nines and sevens on the D and then we'll uh, add some like seven to six stuff like that. So uh, do a couple nines on the D seven back to nine Okay. Something like that just bouncing around and then we kind of uh, um, Squeeze them together a little more we we'll do a couple nines couple sevens nine seven on the D okay. And then we just drop down to six seven six Okay. okay, something like that, and you know, you go through that about three times, and then we'll end it uh, a certain way the first time. Uh, you know, just kind of start it the same with a couple nines, seven, nine, a uh, couple closer nines, couple closer sevens. Okay. And then the first time we just wrap it up by hitting them about five nines on the A. Alright. Uh, so that'll be like that first set of four through the verse. The second set of four, you start it the same way, but we're instead of doing those five nines at the end of the A, uh, we just do this little addition where we do a couple of nines on the A, then go seven, six. Right. Just a slight little difference there. Uh, take notice of. So let's just try this whole thing up to tempo now. a third guitar that comes in on the verse. Uh, this kind of comes in more towards those uh, back four measures. Uh, it'll kind of pick up something at about that, you know, second to last of the first where it just kind of uh, hits like a, a 12 octave uh, harmonic here on the uh, B string. Right, just a little something there. All right, and then it'll just do these little bits. Uh, 
couple nines to seven on the D. Alright. Next time it does a seven, six, seven, six on the D. Okay, then we'll do seven sixty, seven six A. Alright, and then finishes the scale basically with seven six A to seven E. Okay, some just little extra layers uh, put in there. Uh, let's just try them up to speed here. Okay, we'll get a pre-chorus section here, and it just adds this new uh, scale. Uh, so uh, the first guitar will be doing something like this. Uh, acoustic's still just wailing away on that, you know, B to E progression. No big deal. Um, so the first guitar will do something like this, where we're going to do these these quick little scales. Go 10, 9, 7 on the B, and then we do 9, 8, 9 on the G. And you do that about three times. Okay, and then we'll do it a fourth time, but we just end it slightly different here. Uh, where we go 10, 9, 7, B, 9, 8, G, hold that a moment, and then we go 8, 9, 8 to on the G to 9D. Okay, so it'd be something like... Just a little ending for it there. All right. Uh, and the third guitar, what it's doing, it's just doing this higher voiced little riff, all right, where we're just going to go 16, 14, 16, G, and then hit a 14, E. And we're just going to re repeat that eight times. And that just goes for the whole pre-chorus there. All right, so let's uh, do these up to tempo, let you hear them. Okay, the chorus comes along, and we can finally get a new, uh, throw a new chord in there. So uh, this will be good for the chorus and the solo section. All right, and basically it's just going to drop down to an A chord. Um, same kind of bar chord style here, just down two frets. So we're at the five now, with the sevens on the A and D, six on the G, five on the B and E. And this you can just kind of like strum away, like eighth note style. A uh, couple measures of the A. And then just bring it back to that B for a couple measures of the eighth note style. All right, and you're just going to jam through that, uh, you know, four times and uh, be good. lead section for the chorus here okay so you know just do the 10 9 7 uh do 9 7 9 7 d hit a few sevens in there come back to the nines and then you can even throw like a quick little eight on the g in the midst of all that and then just bounce around between nine and seven on the g uh, mix it up by hitting a few more sevens bounce around with those nines and sevens it's just kind of a feel thing uh just hanging out in that area uh and just be sure to like kick it off by that little 10, 9, 7 uh, bit on the B. So, so yeah, you just play around with it there. Have some fun. All right, we get this little break section after the second chorus there. And it just kind of hits this A chord and lets it ring. And uh, then it does this big kind of dive, like slide out. So if you have, you know, like a whammy bar, you can just hit it and then just do the dive with that. It's more kind of like a synth uh, pitch shift there. But um, 
it sounds good on guitar too, so we can do that here. Just hit that big A and towards the end of the second measure, just slide it out or dive. Guitar solo time, as if, you know, most of the song isn't already kind of a guitar solo, but a, a specific guitar solo here, okay, where we do 8, 9 on the G, and then 7 on the B, and you just want to crank that up uh, pretty quick, about four times. All right, and after about four times, we do 8, 9, 8, G, and then we just uh, hit a, a bunch of these 9s on the D, give it some vibrato. Then we'll crank out those 8, 9, G, 7 on the B, another four of those. Right. And of course, finish it with the 8, 9, 8 on the G, but then we'll come up to some 10s on the B. Right. And then we kind of scale it down. We hit a couple of those 10s on the B, do 9B, and then we do 7, 9, 7B. So let's do this whole first section up to speed here. All right, next section of the solo, kind of drop it down to some new scale area here. Uh, or we'll hit four on the G, then we go seven, five, uh, 7 B, 8 7 B to 5 on the B. Okay. Bring it up to the next set of strings here where we go 4 D, 6 G to 4 G, 6 G, 7 6 G, 4 G, 4 D. So kind of just bring in what, that previous riff up a set. All right, but uh, after that, we'll go back to that original little scale. Right, now we'll just finish it with some chords here. I uh, just hit a big open A chord here to a few B chords here. All right, and then just throw a quick A in there and then back to the B. Finish on an A chord, and you just want to give this a, a big kind of whammy vibrato. All right, so kind of a fun little scales ending in chords. Uh, let's get this up to speed. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.